I'm Brian Westbrook with Keywire Studios here at NVIDIA GTC with Nebius. I'm joined now by the CEO and co-founder of Centimel, Gennady Pechimenka. First of all, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks a lot, pleasure to talk with you guys. We have a lot of great stuff to get to. I want to first talk about Centimel, what it is that you do and what solution are you solving? Essentially, Centimel uh, invented a solution that allows to run AI and machine learning models very efficiently for people. So. Our focus is to make workloads like these large language models or computer vision models to be very efficient, both cost and performance. So everything related to training, inference, deployment of the models, we make it very efficient for you. What have you found when exploring cloud service providers? What have you found being the biggest challenge and how has Nebius helped you solve that? Yeah, one of the biggest challenge for us is to find something in the cloud space that would be both reliable, cheap and high performance. So when AI becomes trendy, there were a lot of cloud providers, more than a dozen, that claim they can provide relatively cheap hardware in contrast to the large three major providers, right, AWS, GCP, and Azure. But we found that a lot of them not necessarily have the performance and reliability that we need when working with enterprise customers. So something that we found with Nebius is that where that performance is good, very good, while it's also very reliable and achieved quick. Right, with, uh, with their team. Let's talk about that quick to market. You have a lot of flexible ideas, a lot of fluid space in the AI industry. What is that used to help you in developing things quickly? Yeah, it's very important for us is to have an early access to all the, uh, the fanciest chips that NVIDIA and other generates. So when H100, H200s came to market, we need them very early. Now B200s come to market, like Jensen talked today in the keynote, we need to have very early access to that. So it's very important that the, our cloud vendor would give us early access before they even go public. So by the time it goes public, we had all the software stack ready for them. So being ahead of the game, as it were, is very... Yeah, it's very important to be ahead of the game and have all of that available. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, I think, would say, skate to where the puck is going, if we could use yeah, exactly, a, exactly. a Canadian reference there. I want to ask you about specific products that you're using at Centimel and how is Nebbia helping you with those products? So we are actually not using as much of a product itself. So for us, we're mostly using the bare metal and virtual machine uh, from Nebius itself. And we're actually uh, providers of the software stack for everyone else. So for Nebius, we're not just a customer. For Nebius, we're like a partner that enables a lot more people to use Nebius hardware. Talk to me about that partnership. What are you unlocking for your mutual customers? So essentially, the, the customers that wants to run at scale, it's very important for them to get the maximum possible performance. Nebius is more uh, of a hardware company that builds data centers and hardware cheap for people, but we are the people who to get uh, the next layer of the stack. We make sure that people bring up their favorite model or using some of the standard models and quickly build AI applications on top of it. So we are the layer of the software on top of hardware. So essentially, whenever a customer comes to Nebius, they said, oh, I really like the hardware is fast and cheap, but I really want to run my Llama or my DeepSeeker one very fast. So we are the provider of the software stack that allows you to run and utilize these models. When you compare that to other cloud providers, what have you seen and what are you telling your mutual customers, this is what you get when you go with Nebius? Yeah, one of the advantage we get from Nebius is that uh, the price is not only low, but it's flexible. So for example, when we start with some customers, we don't own the hardware. So we don't want to pay for many years of reservation in advance. So something what Nebius provides us is they provide us flexible reservations and competitive prices for like three months, six months reservation, and also at the same time, uh, good prices on on demand. A lot of the other guys, if they want to get the same price, they would lock us for the whole year, which we not necessarily need with the customer that might not grow yet, right? So this is a very important feature. So that Nebius provides the uh, for us, so far, the best performance per dollar on the market. I'm on this piece. What is next for you? What are you looking forward to? We are very excited about the next uh, wave of agentic workloads that we are coming on the market right now. Again, something that was covered in the keynote today. So we see a lot of enterprises finally get to LLM and their next initial step is try to remove the human from the loop yep. around agentic workloads. So we're building this framework for them for AI agents where they can easily run those workloads. And obviously it would require even more compute because these things would have more interactions, more thinking, and that would require more and more compute. So we expect our compute demand would grow and we would need even more GPUs moving forward. When you're sitting there in Jensen's keynote earlier today, 
What is really light bulb moment going off for you? What are you thinking and planning and sketching on the napkin to plan for the future? It was obviously interested that NVIDIA also going into our space as well. They are now building their own, they call it operating system for AI inference. You can also see that they actually focus on inference when more than on training. So many times when I was doing fundraising, met with customers or investors, they said, like, guys, look, inference is the future. They said, oh, no, it's like it's still training, takes more the cycles. Like, look, today it was all about inference on the software and not about training. And I think it's going to be a big highlight for the year that the tr- inference is going to keep growing and growing in importance over the next few years. It's crazy to think not only that we've come this far, but how far we have yet to go and how quickly things are evolving. Before I let you go, what did I miss? What did I not ask you? Oh, good, great, great questions. I think um, uh, on top of what NVIDIA talked today, I think it would be a great question to ask about where you think the whole field is moving, right? Obviously, NVIDIA, whenever they present their agenda, they had a little bit of a bias. They want to sell even more hardware, as Jensen highlighted several times. So I would say the important question is what the customers really need. Do they really need these huge systems for inference or not? And I think it's still an open question. Because for enterprise customers, it's important to have very powerful chips, but they're not necessarily like the the largest possible models. So whenever Jensen was showing the models on the stage today, all the open source models were still like, say, 60 billion parameters, maybe 600 billion parameters, and people don't want to go any further because it's too expensive, right, for them. So it's a important compromise to find on what's good for NVIDIA and what's good for the customers. Well, we are very excited to learn what is good for the customer as we work closely with you, Gennetti, and the folks at Nebius as we unlock the potential for the future. Thank you for taking the time with us. I'm Brian Westbrook. You're watching GeekWire Studios.